Hi guys, welcome back to the Sweaty Potato Meyer RC channel. And today, guys, what we're gonna do is uh, the, the the well, we finally got a break in the weather, and the parking lot got cleaned up enough. And you'll see in the footage is still still a pretty narrow spot that I had to try to get this thing through. And with the speeds that it's it's going, it's it's so hard to control it. You know, it, any minor steering you do, and, and the things just I, it's, it's hard to explain. You just see in the footage. It, it's hard to control. These things are so hard to control when they're moving that fast. So, um, so yeah, we're going to do uh, top speed runs with this. And um, I wanted to, you know, comment on everything, you know. Basically, what I wanted to say is it's it's still being broken. If this thing's only had a tank and a half fuel through it. And those speed runs, um, I think we, we didn't even hardly move the fuel tank. So... Um, and it, of course, it was only a couple minutes we ran it, and um, so it's still not broke broke in. The re the ring's still not seated, so um, I'm thinking that had a little bit to do with it. And then um, it also, you know, running those high those high, long high RPM poles, it, I think it was really doing some good for the ring because it actually started getting rich towards the end. Um, and and also, I was I was gonna stay there longer and and tune it a little bit and see if I could get some more out of it, but my poor wife. Uh, my film girl, she was getting cold, and and so we just called it a day and everything. So, um, so I'm gonna be going back to the park uh, when I get the ring completely seated. Whenever the weather breaks and I can get this thing ran some more and get the ring completely seated, get a, get a, at least another tank, at, at least a full another full tank ran through it and everything. So, so yeah, we end up hit, hitting about 66 mile per hour, which is two mile per hour short of Jeff's from Eastside RC's uh, 30.5 long rod with the same gears. And I'm going to say, you know, it probably has, you know, a lot to do with the, you know, the fact that the, the engine's not completely ran in and not, not seat, you know, the, the ring's not seated and we're probably not running the same tires. There's just different variances, you know, that we're going to have, you know, so, um, so yeah, enjoy the footage and uh, make sure if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And um, if, if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, and you like what you see, you should probably do that because this is what I do. And by the subscribe button, there's a bell notification. Select that, select all, and get every upload I do. And don't forget, if there's something on your mind, leave a comment in the comments section. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Alright guys, we're out here with the Baja. We're going to do these top speed runs with the world's first Roman 34cc. I might have to do a little tuning. We'll see. Let's see what it's like. That thing is screaming. Ah! Uh -huh. 